Hello cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today we are discussing about the mentality of being cruelty free. First of all, I would like to apologize because it's been a party uh, outside my apartment and you might hear some music, okay? Okay, uh, let's start by saying some things about this makeup. So, um, I have done a video about this makeup and this is the video with uh, doing my makeup using only W7 products. The only thing that I have changed actually is my lipstick and I use this one, Dusk Till Dawn, uh, after party. So, what are we doing today? Today, I'm gonna explain you uh, what is a cruelty-free product, what's the difference between vegan and cruelty-free, and of course how to be cruelty-free uh, first of all in your makeup and as a continuation to the rest of your life. Uh, a little disclaimer here, some things might have changed as I upload the video and be as you are watching the video. So, whatever you decide about any of the issues that we will discuss, please do your own research. Okay, let's start from the most basic questions. What is cruelty free? If you see me looking down, I'm actually looking at my notes. Okay with that. Great. So what is cruelty free? What is a cruelty free product? A cosmetic, uh, which is considered as cruelty free, uh, is a cosmetic that um, during the production or after they have finished with the product, no one has tested uh, this product on animals. And that's basically the definition of cruelty free products. So, is it actually safe to use something that hasn't been tested on animals? Of course it's safe, because nowadays uh, technology has <laughs> done great things. So basically we can do experiments in vitro. That means that we don't need an animal to do the experiments and we are doing them completely in a very um, safe environment of uh, a lab. So this also can give us better results because animals DNA is not 100% similar to human DNA. So in this way some mistakes can happen and of course with this technology that we have nowadays we don't need to do that. Another question right now uh, is uh, what is third party testing? Okay, for example, let's say that I'm about to release my own cosmetics, okay? Then I will give my cosmetics to someone else and this person will do all the experiments for me so I can have the license but without, you know, showing my own name as a brand. So I can use their products as cruelty free but they are not cruelty free. I have hired other people to do the experiments on animal and this in my mind is equally bad. Okay now that we have the definition of cruelty free products let's talk about vegan products. What are vegan products? Vegan products are the products that do not contain anything that comes from animals. For example uh, egg milk and stuff like that. I don't believe that they are using eggs and milk in cosmetics. But they might use uh, animal hair or carmine. Carmine basically is squeezed beetles. Uh, so if you see a product which has red pigmentation and it's not vegan, it probably might have this carmine, which is squeezed beetles. That's very bad. But here we need to define a thing. Uh, cruelty free doesn't mean vegan and vegan doesn't mean cruelty free. And I'm gonna explain what do I mean by saying that. For example, a product can be vegan. What does this mean? It doesn't have anything that is produced or taken by animals, okay? But this product might have been tested on animals. So here we have a vegan product which is not cruelty free. Okay? 
On the other hand, we can have the opposite. We can have a cruelty-free product. What does this mean? That This means that no one has experimented this product on animals, but it might contain some animal derivatives, like carmine, like hair. So, a company should say explicitly that they are cruelty-free and vegan, if you're interested on both, because uh, one does not imply the other. And after all this info, you might actually ask, who is doing this? We are in 2021, who needs to do that? A uh, little disclaimer, I have found everything at Ethical Elephant. Uh, uh, they have a great picture which summarizes uh, the whole story. I will uh, give you uh, my sources, but long story short, uh, if the products are sold in physical stores in mainland China, 90% uh, they require to be animal tested, aka non-cruelty free. What do we mean by that? For example, if I have a physical store and I want to sell products there, they need to be tested on animals. On the other hand, if I sell in mainland China, but I only have an online store, I don't need to do testing. So you might ask, why do they still need to be in physical stores if they can have the alternative? I don't really know. I'm not that deep into marketing. I don't really know. I'm just here to give you the info. Okay, great. So, uh, a very good question uh, to, to think that if your favorite brand is cruelty free or not, is to try to find the info about if they are selling in mainland China, in physical stores. They might say that they are cruelty free, but they might hire other people to do the experiments only to be able to sell there, which is very important. And I have a good example. And here I might start having enemies, but I really want to be transparent and completely honest with you and stand for what I believe. Okay, let's take the example of Mac. Mac claims that it is a cruelty-free brand in Europe. Here's the deal. They sell in physical stores in mainland China. So that makes Mac non-cruelty-free brand. Same as Benefit, same as a lot more of brands. So please be very careful when you read where they sell. Okay, nowadays we have some changes and actually uh, in China, mainland China, they say that, okay, let's try to not uh, have it as a compulsory thing anymore and stuff like that. But uh, to be honest, I feel that uh, it's they're doing baby steps, basically. And this is at the very beginning, so they have a lot of ex exceptions. So I'm not really sure if I can trust that. Okay, let's take another example now. Uh, we have Wet n Wild. Uh, I have used products uh, from Wet n Wild in this channel and here's the deal with this company. They are selling in China, mainland China, physical stores, but they are a part of a project which is called Change or something like that, where they try to not uh, do experiments on animals, but still sell in physical stores in mainland China. I don't know if this thing is working. It's definitely a very interesting project and I really want to encourage this type of projects and actions and stuff like that. But to be completely honest, I don't know if this thing is working. I really would like to believe that everything is going great and actually they are very successful to what they are doing but I'm a little bit skeptic. So yeah, that's my perspective. Uh, in general, the whole um, idea of being cruelty free, it's basically up to uh, your ethics and your morals and when do you wanna draw the line. Uh, personally, 
I wouldn't say that I don't buy anything from Wet n Wild, but I don't know, like, I have been in a mentality that I'm kinda... Mm, do I need really to buy it? I cannot find anything that I can replace it. I don't know, I might be kinda unfair with them, might, but I'm not sure. That's how I feel about them. So I really hope that in the future they will be able to provide us with more details and more transparency to what they are doing. If you visit their official webpage, they claim that they are cruelty free. I hope that this is true. I really hope. I really want to support them. If what they are doing is working, I really, really want to support them. Believe me. Great. Uh, good question. Where can I find info? that I can trust because you know I can say whatever basically can you trust me who knows I would say yes because I really really stand for this but you don't know and you're a skeptic and you are right okay where can you find all the info there are some sites like ethical elephant uh, cruelty free bunny and some others that I cannot remember but I will make sure that I will have every link down below wherever I find the info that I'm using in my real life to decide uh, with which companies I would like to collaborate, uh, which products uh, am I going to buy and stuff like that. So I will leave that down below. Okay, make sure that you will check my description box. Um, I do not usually ask you to do that, but this is very important. Please, please make sure that you're doing it. It's not for me, it's for a bigger cause, something bigger, something greater. Please do it. Another question that I have been asked a lot when I try to talk about this uh, on my other social media and Instagram mainly uh, is what about the parent companies? Uh, as you know, I have used a lot of products from NYX Professional Makeup, which is uh, cruelty free completely, and I think 60% or more these days, if I'm not mistaken, vegan. Great, NYX is great, we support NYX. But NYX is owned by Estee Lauder. Is Estee Lauder vegan? No. Is Estee Lauder cruelty free? No. What are we doing here? Are we supporting NYX? That means that an amount of money goes to Estee Lauder. So we are kinda support Estee Lauder as well. So this is a completely, uh, I don't know, a question that has to do with your morals and what are you standing for? Personally, I would like to support companies, child companies, if I can use this terminology, I don't really know, uh, these are very advanced stuff. I will use the word child company to refer to companies like NYX and uh, parent company to refer, <coughs> to refer, I'm sorry, to companies like Estee Lauder. Okay, so if we support cruelty free child companies, yeah, we are giving some money to the parent companies which are not cruelty free, but we are giving them a message like I'm not gonna buy from you non cruelty free parent company unless you become cruelty free because I don't have any problem to support your children companies at all and I don't have any issue with your quality and your standards and everything the only issue that I have is that you are not cruelty free so in my mind, and of course you can disagree with that, I would be very happy to see your opinion down in the comments because this is um, a very important issue. In my mind, I feel that if I give my money to NYX, if I support NYX, I'm giving Estee Lauder a message that the world is changing, the world is becoming cruelty free, and that's we are, what we are support. Of course, if you're gonna choose to support only indie brands which are cruelty free and they're, stands for, they're standing for themselves, it's completely okay. You can do whatever you want, but that's my opinion. And that's my way to send my messages to these huge, colossal companies. Actually, when I was uh, trying to collect all the information and write them down for this video, I was quite happy 
because I noticed that the world is about to change and everything is turning into a more cruelty free mentality and stuff like that until until I found that nowadays remember we are still in September 2021 okay I hope that this might not be a thing during next month but anyway so some European countries decided that um, animal testing should be compulsory again that's crazy that's crazy and I know that there are some actions like petitions and stuff like that that we need to sign we need to sign because we need to say no to that yeah beauty is an amazing thing of course I'm in beauty community but I don't feel that any animal has to suffer in order for me and other people to be beautiful this is just vanity this is just crazy this should not be a thing so we need to do whatever we can in order to stop that it's very important to understand what are we doing and the vanity of the humankind that we say okay let's keep these animals in prison let's make them suffer in order to make sure that we will have what cosmetics cosmetics something which is not necessary we can live without them so please be informed as much as possible i will update you on instagram uh, one um, about what's happening and where you can sign if it is still available if it is still available of course i will have it down at my description box uh, the good news and irrelevant to that is that many companies are getting the message and they are trying to change and i would normally close with that my main part of the video but we need to discuss about something more serious so yeah of course i'm happy that i see day by day more and more companies to turn out to be cruelty free and even more they want to do the next step and actually be vegan which is great but there are some dark things there are still some dark things which is i don't know that that makes me so angry you know anyway i'm i'm just closing this now because i just don't want to complain and this video will be a complain video today's word of the day will be a little bit different i'm not gonna say you a translation of something but i really need to tell you how we say in greek cruelty free so in greek we say choris pyramata se zoa that means without experiments on animals literally what cruelty free means say again with me choris pyramata se zoa you're more than welcome to write a comment down below if you want to i would like to thank you so so much if you stayed with me until now today we had a very important video so it's a lot important if you stayed with me like i don't know i feel that i'm doing my best you need to do your best we need to be united uh, at this point I would like to assure you that whatever I'm showing to you, once again, it's completely cruelty free. I have zero toleration of animal experimentation. I completely disagree. So I will never collaborate with a non cruelty free company. I will never show you anything that it's not cruelty free. So whatever you see here in my channel, be sure that it's cruelty free. If you like this video, you know what you need to do give it a thumbs up please try to share this video as much as you can people need to know try to share it again thank you so so much for being here with me today i hope that you actually learned something and bye bye